Hello people, this is Matt Fisher back with another exciting tutorial for you guys today. As always, and earlier this week, I showed you guys how to speed up PS4 downloads using your Mac, but today's video is going to be how to speed up PS4 downloads using your PC. So to speed up downloads on your PS4, you'll need to use a proxy server, and I know a lot of my viewers aren't quite into networking like I am, so I won't go too in depth about proxy servers, but I do want to give a very simple explanation of why using a proxy server makes your downloads faster, because I think it's important to understand why this works if you're going to do it. And I have an awesome graphic here to help me out from Mr. Rydell over on Reddit. I did tweak this a little bit, but it's mostly his work, so I just wanted to give a quick shout out to him. Now, a PS4 can only download a certain number of packets or parts of your game at a time. I'm not sure what the real numbers are, but let's say this limit is 10 packets every 10 seconds. Now, the download server itself is much faster than your PS4 and is capable of sending 50 packets every 10 seconds. But the download server is also pretty busy, so it makes your PS4 wait in line before it starts sending it packets. Now, a different device, like a proxy server, is capable of downloading whatever the download server can give it. So if the download server can give 50, it can take 50. If the download server can give 80, it can give 80. It basically says to the download server, hey, give me everything you got, because I can take it. The proxy server still has to wait in line, but it can handle more packets at a time, so the download is going to finish quicker. Now, because the proxy server isn't as busy as the download server, your PS4 doesn't have to wait in any line and can take packets a lot quicker. So using a proxy server works to speed up your downloads not because more information is downloaded at one point in time, it's because your PS4 doesn't have to wait as long for asking for the next set of information. So now that you know how it works, let me show you how to do it. So here we are on our PC crossing into uncharted territory right now. The first thing we need to do is download a program called CC Proxy and I'll have a link to this down in the description below. There is a paid version of this, but for what we're doing, we can just use the free version. Now, I already have the program installed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. And after you open it, that's actually all you need to do. There's no configuration or anything like that. You may get prompted about allowing the connection through your firewall, and you can just click allow to that. But you don't need to configure the app, you don't need to set it up. Once the app is open, you're pretty much good to go. But the last thing we have to do in our PC is find out what our IP address is. And that's so we can tell our PS4 where to find the proxy server. So to do that, you want to right click on the network icon in your system tray and click on open network and sharing center. And then you want to click on your active connection and then click on details. And on the little pop up, it should tell you what your IPv4 address is. You just want to mark that down. Now back over on our PS4, we need to tell our PS4 the IP address of our proxy server. So if we head into the setup internet connection settings, we want everything to be automatic except for the proxy settings. And here we just want to enter the IP address of our PC. And after, if we test the settings, everything should check out and that's all there is to it. So the next time we go to download something, it will be finished much faster. But that is going to wrap up the tutorial and actually our first ever PC tutorial that I have for you guys today. If you get stuck on any step, make sure to drop me a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. But if you found this video useful or helpful in any way, make sure to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and more PC tutorials in the future, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and take care.